Hello everyone, welcome back to TechnoCharts YouTube channel and in today's video, I am going to discuss a Fin Nifty Algo trading strategy. So we are going to discuss the logic of the strategy, the backtesting and its execution in Quantiply platform here. So let us first understand the logic of the strategy here. So the strategy is a unique strategy where we are going to use the straddle premium based uh, strategy where we are trying to sell 25% of the straddle premium call side and the 25% of the straddle premium on the put side here. So what do we exactly mean by this strategy? Let's say on Wednesday, the straddle premium is trading at around 250 rupees. Now what does this straddle premium totally mean is basically let's say the call side on Wednesday is trading at 125 rupees and the put side is trading at 125 rupees at time 916 basically we are talking about the time 916 here so total premium on this strategy comes at 250 rupees now we are going to calculate the 25 percent of this total 250 here and then we are going to sell the premiums that are greater than 25 percent of the straddle premium here so this is the basic of the logic here where we are trying to sell out of the money options and trying to capture the theta decay as long as possible here. And this is a mixture of directional as well as a non-directional trading strategy. And we are trying to use the feature of re-execute as well as normal trading strategy where we are also not uh, having any kind of advanced feature like re-entry or re-execute. Uh, right? So, for example, let's say on Thursday, the straddle premium is now come down from 125 rupees to 100 rupees on the call side. That is the, uh, let's say P is trading at 100 rupees. The C on Thursday is trading at 100 rupees here, right? So, total premium on the straddle is coming at around 200 rupees and 25% of this straddle premium comes at 50 rupees approximately, right? So, what we are trying to do, we are trying to sell 50 rupees C here we are trying to sell the 50 rupees call option and we are also trying to sell the 50 rupees put option here right so first we have sold the 50 rupees call option and then we have sold the 50 rupees put option so here it may be possible that the premium uh, may not be exactly uh, 50 rupees here so we are trying to sell the premium that are immediately greater than 25 percent so this this could be like 55 rupees this could be 60 rupees but this will never be lesser than 25 percent it will be always be greater than 25 percent here so that is the main thing that we are trying to do we are trying to capture a higher premium greater than 25 percent here so selling one lot of uh, put option as well as selling one lot of call option that is greater than 25 percent we have kept a stop loss of 70% here and we have also used move SL to cost. Now you can optimize the strategy by using other feature like trailing stop loss by using other feature like let's say re-entry features to modify the strategy according to your own uh, trading criteria. Apart from that, we are also uh, trying to lock our profit. So if the profit reaches 1000 rupees, we are trailing that minimum profit at 0 rupees. That means let's say for one lot 1000 rupees means we are if we are able to capture 25 rupees theta decay or let's say a 25 rupees premium on either side then in that case we have automatically trailed our stop loss from whatever the loss that was maximum loss to 0 rupees so once we are in a profit of 25 rupees or 25 points here per lot then in this case we are not going to book any loss so that is what is the meaning of if profit reaches 1000 rupees lock minimum profit at zero so this is the meaning of uh, other strategy here now exit time i have selected is at 1525 that uh, 1529 and that is 329 you can change the exit timing from 329 to let's say 325 here and update update the strategy okay so once you change that the results will change slightly here and the second strategy that we are trying to trade is a similar strategy compared to strategy number one so strategy number one I have named it as 25% SP and the second strategy I have named is uh, named it as 1015 SP. Okay, so this is also 25% uh, SP on the put side and 25% SP on the call side. In this as well, we have kept a stop loss of 40% on each legs and we have also used the feature of re-execute of one uh, on SL basically. So we are trying to re-execute the strategy if any stop loss gets it. 
let's say if markets are moving like this example and our call uh, uh, our put side sl gets hit here okay and after put side sl gets it because the premiums definitely would have risen on and there would have been a skew like the call side would have come down to let's say 30 rupees but the put have put might have gone to approximately uh, 60 65 rupees so in this case this this is a uh, this is not a delta neutral as of now right so in this case what we are trying to do we are again exiting this on the put side again trying to sell a premium that is approximately 25 percent of the total straddle premium here and then we have kept a stop loss of 40 percent on each leg and also trailed from thousand rupees to zero rupees the entry time of this strategy we have we are trying to take an entry after one hour from the first entry so that we are are uh, trying to diversify in our strategy you can also change this timing from 10 15 to let's say 11 o'clock or 10 30 or 12 o'clock and you can also change this premium percentages from 25 percent to 10 percent 15 percent or let's say 30 percent 45 percent so you can definitely uh, modify this strategy according to your own uh, requirements and accordingly you can backtest the strategy so let us now first understand the backtested data here now estimated margin required is approximately 2.3 lakh rupees that is 2.3 you can keep uh, 20,000 extra additional money and you can start with a capital of 2.5 lakh rupees for one lot each right so if we look at this the average monthly profit is coming at around 5% 4.9% and the brokerage would also be minimum because we are only trading two strategies with minimum re-entry so there is only one re-execute here average profit on win days is 1400 rupees while average loss on loss days is less than 1000 rupees and maximum drawdown is only 3.2 percent while if you look at the win ratio the win ratio is coming at around 69 percent and the loss ratio is coming at around 31 percent total profit of the strategy is 38 percent in only and only how many months three and six uh, in around nine months we have 38 percent profit and look at the slippage that we have included here the slippage that we have included here is 1%. So inbuilt slippages of 1% are now included for option strategies in every basket. So slippages I have already included 1%. How you can uh, change the slippages here? You can go to the change settings section and change the slippage percent that you want uh, in this inbuilt uh, slippage here. Now, if you look at the month on month result, here I have excluded Wednesday because Wednesdays uh, I have tested a lot of strategies and Fin Nifty has not been performing that well compared to Bank Nifty. So that is why I have avoided Wednesday. If you want, you can trade Wednesdays. That is not an issue. Personally, I don't. And I avoid trading Fin Nifty on Wednesdays. That is my personal opinion here in this case. Now, if you look at the month on month return, we see in Jan 2023, it has given 4%. Feb, it has given 4.79. March, it has given 2.5. April, it has given 2%. May has been extremely profitable with 5.5%. And June already has given 2% each. Right. And if you look at the correlation between these two strategies, it is only 0 0.014 per, uh, 0 0.014. And there has been continuous uh, winning streak as well. And there has been a good losing streak in March, basically. Right. So four, four day losing streak. And then there is a continuous winning streak that we have seen. Right. So average profit and average loss uh, ratio is a good ratio in this scenario. And basically, if you want this strategy always uh, the link is there in the description below the stock mock link is there in the description below as well as now we are going to go and understand how to configure this strategy in uh, the quantify platform here so quantify platform uh, the link is there in the description you can go and sign up using that link and just create the strategy like how i am trying to show you how you can create a strategy here so basically once you select on this edit button here you can see the insides of the strategy in the stock mock platform go to quantify click on create strategy once you click on create strategy you can enter the name as let's say 25 percent sp 9 16 am okay so this is the strategy that i have named as s s1 okay once you have named this strategy as like this you have to select on add leg now here you have to check that this is a bank nifty leg so i am going to change it from bank nifty to fin nifty here apart from that this is a sell leg that we are trying to trade and select on legs and select here straddle premium here so straddle premium has to be higher than 
ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट एस पी सो दिस इज हाउ यू आर गोइंग टू सिलेक्ट द स्ट्रेडल प्रीमियम इन क्वान्टीप्लाई सो वन यू हैव सिलेक्टेड स्ट्रेडल प्रीमियम ग्रेटर दैन ट्वेंटी फाइव परसेंट ऑफ एस पी वन कॉल साइड वन पुट साइड स्टॉप लॉस यू कैन कीप ऑन द फर्स्ट स्ट्रेटेजी एज सेवेंटी परसेंट सेवेंटी परसेंट we have used move vessel to cost entry time is 916 here entry time exit time is 15 let's say 1525 if you want if you are keeping exit time as 1529 then keep this is and keep this in an rml if it is exit time is 1520 to 1525 keep this in mrs here you can use lock profit as let's say 1000 rupees once the 1000 rupee profit is touched lock it at 0 rupees basically so if you are using stock so you may not be able to lock it at 0 rupees you can ch change it to 1 rupees basically right now if you are trading multiple lots then you have to change this from 1000 rupees to 2000 3000 into whatever quantity that you are trying to multiply entry order is always in market order exit order is always limit order in all our strategies and keep a 5 point difference here basically uh, for the strategies here you can keep a entry and a trigger and limit price difference as 5 point difference and sl has to be placed in advance and entry order delay is not there so basically we have selected the strategy once you have selected the strategy click on save settings and click on the number of days that you want and select the id that you want broker and you can basically uh, select the strategy here right so this is how you are you can select uh, and create a strategy basically in stock mock platform and uh, identify the strategy and create the strategy in quantify platform so if you are uh, if you are a trader who has a capital of more than 10 lakh rupees and is looking for customized algo trading strategies for option buying as well as selling you can use the link of my whatsapp to message me and inquire about more about my algo trading strategies which are giving consistent returns month on month right i hope you like this video do share this video with your friends who are looking to level up their algo trading journey and they are looking for algo trading strategy free of cost thank you have a great day